Don't scream. Why? I almost ran past. Good thing she screamed, otherwise I would have kept going. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, you fucking little shit. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me we're in a hospital. Oh my god, what is that? Scary or just scary kind of prizes. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. I am not going to be having a wonderful time because I have to continue this game. I'm terrified of this game and now we're stuck in a hospital world. <sighs> all right. So anyway, ho hope you're all doing good. I'm going to see what I can do to get through this world. But apparently uh, the second floor of the hospital is not what it seems. The second floor of this area is actually a nightmare because it is randomly generated. So, uh, once we get there, I'm going to hate it. Because there will be no guide. If I get lost, there will be no help. Um, currently looking around, I'm just, I just want to make sure that I've got everything. Um, because I feel like I'm going in circles. I don't want to leave anything behind because I don't think... We'll be coming back here anytime soon. Or at least I hope we're not coming back here anytime soon. Uh, and I guess I need to look for the hallway of wheelchairs. Because I think that's what we got up to last time. So I I'm playing this after... It it's been a while. It's been a while since I picked up this game. I mean, I, I do remember the controls. It's just... Um, might be a little bit foggy. At least I know how to access the map. Because I constantly press this button when I'm getting attacked. Oh! Oh! What? No! How's this? No! I want to pick this up! Ow! You fucking bitch slapped me! Uh, ow! No, but I want this. Oh god, I need to really stop pressing the fucking menu button. Uh, get off my dick! I do not give you permission to do said things. Ah, uh, get off of me! Oh, why do I keep pressing that every time? Um, alright, so where are we going? I need to go to this way, I think. So that far door is locked, so I think that we need to go this way. I'm, I'm just, I hate the hospital because I constantly get lost. I'm an idiot, I'm on the wrong side of the room. All right, I need to go this way because the uh, elevator is out of action and it's just got a bunch of mangled corpses here. Then I'm just gonna step all over a little bit. Yep, so, yep, excuse me, sorry, Mike, coming through, yep. All right, now I know where I am and now I'm about to not know where I am because the second floor is randomly generated. Which means that this is- Ah! Oh, shit! 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 Yeah. Go away. I'm, just, I'm gonna go in here now. Just let me- ah, Oh! No! No! Oh! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! No! Kill it! I hate- I hate when they just do that. You enter a room and all of a sudden there's just these horrible monstrosities. My god. There's some kind of skin. It smells so bad it must be fairly new. My god, is it human skin? I don't know, but it's probably likely. Um, probably likely. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this room because there's nothing for me here. I don't like the chairs. Ooh. I don't like the look at this. That terrible smell. What's behind this cloth? I don't know if we should mess with this. I say as I go to mess with it. <laughs> uh, can I not be in this room now? Thank you. Ah, ah, no, bad, bad chair, bad chair. Ah! My God, it happened again. I think it's because I instinctively press A to get up for some reason. Oh, oh, oh. There are x-ray pictures on the floor. Eileen? Man, this guy's obsessed with Eileen. There are a bunch of x-ray pictures stuck up on the board. Are these Eileen's x-rays? Why? Why is it always that? Also, the the outline of that looks more male than female, actually. Nope. Bad. <gasps> okay, we're good. It's just these things. I don't trust it. There's blood. 
There's blood. I don't trust it. It's a sterile room. It doesn't fucking look very sterile. <laughs> Which one is the sterile room? Wait, what? Yeah, it's... Ugh. Oh, maybe... Because this is randomly generated, maybe, like, another door leads to, like, the other side of this or something? Because that side has a sink. This side does not. And that bed has a hole. This one does not. Interesting. <laughs> no. No. Don't. Do that. Stop it. You're ugly and gross, okay? Do better at not being gross. Oh, man. That stinks like hell. What the hell is it? Uh, I would say it's something real gross. Probably limbs wrapped up and ready to be chucked on the roast. Uh, well, there's a horrible smell coming from the inside of the broken glass. Yeah, probably that, that thing on the inside there, like right there. I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? I don't know. Is, Is it the, the bite, bite of 87? 87? <laughs> That's some very sexy moaning that's happening right now. This is less sexy! I think I found a thumbnail. Okay, that's just weird, man. Alright, it just sounds like someone's having sex in here. I'm just gonna leave before YouTube censors us. It was a very strange room, but I mean, look, to be fair, I found Stranger. Oh, okay. It's a man's dead body. Well, as long as it stays dead, I'm cool with it. Me no like zombies. Ooh. The Saint Medallion. I'll take that. I think that's gonna protect me from ghosts. There's a nice soft afternoon light coming in from the window. Is time flowing differently here? Or is this some kind of... Light from heaven? I don't know, but that sounded really wanky. This way? I don't like. Ooh. It's a key! Take the hospital room key? Yes! Fuck! Probably the key to Eileen's hospital room. Well, that's great! Um, are you serious? I hate. Everything that's happening right now. Oh! I don't like some kind of skin. It smells horrible. There's something stuck in it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. I need to go back to the back back home. Around the middle of the skin, there's still some meat attached on the inside. That's great. I'm just gonna leave and figure out which room I'm in. Right, I'm in the Left four. Oh, shit. Ow. All right. Go back to the hole. We'll be back. We'll be back. I would like to put this in the chest. I would like to put this in the chest. I would like to keep that on my body. I want the handbag. What if Eileen wants her handbag back? You know what I mean? Because it says Eileen only weapon. So I assume that you can use... That, that Eileen could use it. <laughs> do we play as Eileen or does she follow us around? Like, what, what's going to happen? Because it's an Eileen-only weapon. Maybe I have to use it against Eileen or does she use it? I don't know. But I have a feeling that she's alive. Yeah, enter the hole. Go, 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 Pistol bullets. Yes. A holy candle. Uh, being lit and placed down. Well, uh, okay, it works after being lit and placed down. I don't know where to put it. Oh my. What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of the cloth. I mean, there's clearly a humanoid figure inside. Can I do anything? Okay. So what's at the end of this? Doesn't look like I can go any further. Well, that's good. I have a hospital room key now. I should be able to, um, to do stuff. I don't know what room was locked, but we're about to find out. It's locked. All right, good. I can't use this here. 
The only thing that's locked and I've got a key and I can't use it. I don't understand where it wants me to go then. I think I have to go back upstairs. Ah! Aha! We found her. Hey girl. Oh man, you all messed up. You know there's a giant, your giant face is in another room moaning. <laughs> What? What? I mean, I mean, relax. Why are you groping her boob, dude? Cut it out. Wait, why is she scared of me? Or is she just scared in general? Henry? From next door? Yeah, Henry from next door. What are you doing here? I've come to save you! I don't... I don't know where to start. From the beginning! There was this strange hole in my room. Giggity. I saw people getting killed. All these weird other worlds. He's not very good I at saw explaining things. Exact too. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Oh. 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 I remember now. I was getting ready to go to my friend's party. Hmm. That's, That's why you were dressed up! Me from the man with the coat. Man with the coat. Yeah, we don't like that guy. Normal. You're in Silent Hill. Where is it anyway? A very decrepit hospital. Uh, I don't know either. But I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world too. <laughs> Who's to say this anyway, isn't the real world? The only way out of here is through that hole. Giggity! You touched my boob. I trust you now. That's the message I'm getting from this game. And it's not a good message. Can I give you your bag? <gasps> oh, nice! Okay, cool. There's a scalpel, scissors, and other surgical instruments here. What are they doing here? I... You're in a hospital, dude! <laughs> like... What? What? Hospital? Why is there medicine? Why is there scalpels? Why is there syringes? I don't know. Why is there gauze and bandages? Why are you literally in a, well, sterile environment? Come on, man. Use your brain. Where did the... Hi. I'ma fuck you up. Yeah, take that. I'm gonna stomp ya. Stomp. Stompy stomp. Get him. Sup. Sup, burpy. Time to die, burpee! Yeah, I use the same insult on both of them because, well, that's just what they do. They burp a lot. Alright, uh, this way. Let's get out of here. Wait, is she gonna come with me? Or... Okay, so we're holding hands! <laughs> holding hands! <laughs> It'd be really funny if he was holding their other hand, the bandaged one. She's like, ah! <laughs> Why would I find pain funny? <laughs> because it is. Eileen, she's gone. All right. Fucking what? Hello? The air in this room feels heavy. Right, there is a note under the door. There is... <sighs> the ceiling fan has fallen down. This room, it's so oppressive. I'm going to save. Whatever's about to happen is not going to be good. Oh, hang on a sec. Check on Eileen. Is she back? No. There's the rabbit pointing at me still. It's a red envelope. 
There's a letter and a small key inside. You've seen that world as well, that horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there, which I do all the time. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. But there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look on the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Are you gonna take me back to the fucking apartment world? On the rooftops, I think that there was an access to somewhere that had, I think it was a clock that you could look through. I can't remember. There's a lot of, I feel like there's more blood prints the longer you go. Maybe that's like how you gauge your progress in the game. I don't know. Uh, I'm speculating. Uh, if anyone does know, please let me know in the, oh, hey, in the comments. Looks like a scrap from a diary. Walter Sullivan did kill himself. He died in his prison cell of blood loss after he stabbed himself in the neck with his spoon. He spooned himself to death. His body was buried in a cemetery just outside his hometown of Silent Hill in an unmarked grave. Just outside? I thought it would be inside. Maybe they were too scared to go in. After that, his name became famous all over the world and it looked like his string of mass murders was finished at 10 out of 21. But three years later, they found a corpse that had 1221 carved into it. The corpse was from six months earlier. In other words, the person was killed two and a half years after Sullivan committed suicide. The MO was exactly the same as Sullivan's, except for one thing. All ten of Sullivan's victims were found with their hearts cut out and their chest wounds sewn together expertly with thread. On the other hand, the 1221 victim still had their heart. Naturally, the police think it's a copycat and are proceeding on that basis, but they haven't made any progress and recently discovered victim number 13. This corpse also had their heart intact. The police still haven't even identified a suspect. I've got a working hypothesis. Very few people know the details of the original crimes and would be able to copy Sullivan's MO so precisely. First, I'll head to Silent Hill, to the graveyard near that beautiful little lake. Maybe I'll find the answer there, June 11. Are we going to go back to the... The outside world. I can't remember what it is. Like the orphanage. How long has it been since I left this room? I can't tell if it's been days or hours. But during that time, they've found the body of 1421. I've been having hallucinations lately. I think I'm losing my mind. No date written! The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick fog clinging to everything. Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. The police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case. So I figured things probably hadn't been touched here. But I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition that it was almost sad. The storm must have raised the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. This diary is pretty damaged around the, this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave. And on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 1121. June 14. There was a lot of reading to be done, so I, I, I changed it up just to make it more entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it. So I need to go to the door with the placket. I mean, that does ring a bell. I did see one, I just don't remember. I think I went through it. I thought I went through it. I was being chased by a ghost when I went through it, so... Ghost, zombie, whatever. They're called ghosts, but I feel like they're zombies. Oh, hey. Uh. Uh, Eileen, are you just... Are you okay? Oh, Henry. Why didn't you come with us? Can you not? Oh. <laughs> Have you been here the whole time? <laughs> yeah. And I didn't see any hole either. <laughs> you just disappeared all of a sudden. I was holding your hand. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. You know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. 
Do you know about someone named Joseph? Wait, was he a victim? But toward the end, he started acting really weird. Yeah, he was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down into the deepest part of him, and to look means. for the ultimate truth. So Joseph, we have to go. Let's do that. We have to dig there deep inside Joseph. Down Joseph. There. So do we need to go to Silent Hill, go to the graveyard, okay. and look at the grave or something? I'll do it. You're the only chance I've got. Yeah. How do we do it though? We're in the freaking hospital world you. right now. You'll stick with me. That's great. But you can't enter the hole. So what? What do we do? We're in the hospital world, man. This is a nightmare can't be happening. Wait, what if we go to the room with her face in it while she's with us? That'd be <gasps> interesting. Oh, sorry, Hailey. Because she's with us now, right? Like, she can't be haunting a room? I don't know. Um, I just, I'm just hoping that I'm right. Is she... She's not in here. She's... Can you catch up? I'm gonna have to wait for her. This is gonna be like a big escort quest thing. <laughs> oh, she waddles slowly. When we run, she's she's a bit slower. I feel bad. I don't know if this is a good idea to show her, you know, herself as a uh, giant face, but <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> maybe that's the way forward because like she's with us now, so she can't be in two places at once. Or maybe she can, I don't know, it's Silent Hill. But I'm just curious, I wanna know. Why are you not reacting to this? I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not really moving. Wait, I know where we need to go. Remember I tried the key, um, the hospital key on the uh, on that elevator bit, right? Now we have a small key. Maybe the small key fits the elevator. Oh, oh, smart, smart. I'm a smart, smart. And if it's not that, then I'm lost. Yes, hell yeah. Oh no, I don't like those sounds. Ooh. All right, run, hit it a bunch of times before it gets a chance to, ah, ah! what the fuck? <laughs> it's going down the stairs. <laughs> oh, it is a very, very funny, funny sound. All right, squish. Squish. Nope, squish. Squish. Yeah, you get it, girl. You get it. Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't realize you could hit her. All right, so this is a uh, store with a symbol on it. That's cool. Uh, where are we? This is creepy. What the hell? It's got like um, sticks poking out of it and stuff. Eileen, can you catch up, please? I'm not going to wait around for you. I mean, I know I have to, so I will, but I would like to say that I won't, so then she hurries up. Uh, is there a thing here? Oh, there's a hole! Into the hole. Yeah, just jump through it. Ah! I don't think she's gonna be too happy about that, that I just left her on a, I don't know, a ghostly staircase? Um, but I am going to save because I'm terrified and I feel like I've made progress and that is good enough for me. Oh, I hate that. getting a very bad feeling all over. Oh, maybe I've been holding something that somehow weakened this. Um, okay. I think the candle might help. There we go. The bad feeling is getting weaker, but it must be this candle.
clock has stopped. How much time has passed since this room started going crazy and the hole appeared? Don't know. All right, well, we did that. So um, I did a little bit of research as to what the doll does. And I think that the doll, um, if we would have taken it from Walter Sullivan, or at least I think it's the guy in the coat is Walter Sullivan and the kid, possibly. I'm not sure. If we took the doll, I'm pretty sure that we get a lot more hauntings in the apartment, which makes it really hard to navigate. Is Eileen still just not at home? Because it's kind of sad. I want the bunny to stop staring at me. It is creepy. Hey, how you doing? Come on. Let's keep going down this creepy place. Can't look in there. But I found a door! Eileen, I need you to be close. Don't fall behind. Frickin' monkey man! <laughs> Holy shit, we're... I wonder if this is still alive. We're in the subway. Where? The worlds are connecting. The plot thickens. The door shut tight. It won't, won't open at all. All right, cool. Good to know. We're in the subway again. I need the subway tokens. Ugh. So I had a uh, person die in this area. Just, just so you know, Eileen. Um, so uh, don't die. Well, I hate that. I'm just, um, I'm just not gonna deal with that right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna read. Uh, there's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts that seem to be very effective for evading the ghost victims. The Holy Candle and the Saint Medallion. Not only are they effective against the ghost victims on the other world, in the other world, they also seem to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in and its holy power is activated. So if I don't fix this window, ghosts are gonna be in the apartment. Is that what's gonna happen? The Saint Medallion seems to repel unholy energy when it's worn. I'm starting to gain some hope. It's a filthy envelope. There's a letter and a toy key inside. A toy key! Mummy, I'll give you this, so please wake up soon. It's inside my toy train. The fuck? The bad feeling is getting weaker. It must be this medallion. Okay, cool. Oh, I broke it. Can I take my candle back? I've ruined it. Oh. I've wasted two items now. Oh well, these things happen. I'm very curious as to where we're gonna go next because we're, we're the hospital connected to the subway, right? The hospital connected to a ghost staircase that connected to the subway. So I'm just I, navigating this is hard for my brain. Hey, how you doing? We need to go find a train and put a key in it. I forgot to grab the uh, the turnstile freaking things because the place was haunted i forgot i need the coin okay i'm gonna make sure that this actually works and then i'm gonna take the uh subway token and then we should be good all right it is ended we are good now i want my subway token inside the hole I don't like the sounds this place is making. What? What is? What did I just step on? Is that hair? Definitely not guitar leads. I'll, just, I'll say that much. Wait, is that? What was her name? Cynthia? Was it Cynthia? I think it was Cynthia. Oh no, is she gonna be one of those creepy, creepy things? Oh no, is this... This is bad. Oh 
me. She's one of those uh, hair ghost girl people things. Yeah, this is creepy. This is bad. Is this a boss? This might be a boss. I hope it's not a boss. Oh my god! Um... No, 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 no. I can't use this here, why? Okay, that was weird. The fuck? Get back here. Where'd you go? Whoa! Okay. Hey, how you doing? I like hitting two of them at once. Very handy. Silver bullets. Oops. Mike, you're in the way, okay? All right, well, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work, but that's that's pretty neat. I might need to go back and get pistol. Because uh, at the moment, I don't have the pistol. Hey, you're back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop doing that. Yes. All right. I made it. Trying to listen out for more creatures. Okay. There's a horse riding crop here. Yeah, I'll take the riding crop. Uh, Eileen only. Light and easy to use with good reach. Looks like it would be very painful. Uh, Eileen, here. Take this. I want, I want you to have this. There you go. Oh, hang on. What's this? Filthy toy coin. Toy coin. Toy coin. <laughs> it's a filthy toy coin inside the box. Coin caked with dirt and grime. I bet I could clean it with the kitchen sink in my room. <laughs> Get away! Get away! All right. Cool, 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 cool. Let's just run, 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 run. Come on. Don't dilly dally. Let's get out of here. I hate this area. It is terrifying. I want to leave. I'm going to go through this hole and you're going to stay here. And then I'm going to save and wait, no, I'm going to wash the coin in the sink. Then I'm going to save. I think that that vending machine might have something for us because it, it needs a dollar and I think I picked up a dollar. I can wash the coin. Do it. My dude, come on. You washed the filthy coin with water. You got the one cash coin. Yes, all right, so I now know what to do with that, which is good, we like that. Red paper stuck in here. A few days after Walter killed himself in his cell, several residents witnessed a long-haired man with a coat here. The, through his window, Richard Braintree in 207 saw the man moving something heavy and doing something in room 302. When Sunderland, the superintendent, saw the man with the coat hanging around room 302 and confirmed there were signs of someone having been in there. July 17. I'm not liking any of the stuff that's happening in this. It's a little bit scary. Also, we haven't seen any activity in the room outside of the hauntings. We haven't seen anything through the, uh, through the peephole, nor through the creephole. I'm going to save this for the next episode, but right now I think we've made a lot of progress. We've exited the hospital world. We have entered the the train station again. And now that we've got this strange little coin, I think that we can put that into, into the vending machine, but I don't know what we're going to get from there. Um, and I find it really amusing that we gave Eileen a riding crop. And this she's alive? Like, what the hell? All right, cool. So Eileen is alive. We've equipped her with a riding crop because it's hilarious. We've made it to the train world. I'm repeating things because I'm trying to make sense of it all. And none of this makes sense because of Silent Hill 4, the room.